Hello, hello, we are back again. Um, we had a huge milestone happen at the house and I wanted to share it with you guys. They did all of the drywall. So the house really feels like a house now and I can't wait to show you what it's looking like. So let's get started. Okay, so I am at the front door and this time I did decide to film on my regular camera instead of my cell phone. So you should get a better view of what's going on in here this time. But I'm at the front door and I am going to look up so you can see where we are. This is a really tall vaulted space. There's an art niche above the office door. And then here again is my office. Again, one of my most favorite rooms. Lots of windows. And here is the other side, and there is a closet here, which is great. There's also a niche here in the entryway. Don't know how I feel about it yet, but I might do something fun with it. So stay tuned for that. So back out into the entry is a coat closet. Here is that first bridge. And then to the right is going to be our mud room to the garage. All right, in this second foyer area, to the left we have the dining room. I love the ceiling detail. Definitely have plans to um, make those beams wood, but really fun area for the dining room. This is the um, doorway to the pantry and to the kitchen. This is the pathway to the living room. And then here is the stairway. And we walk through here. To the left is the opening for the coffee bar or butler's station. To the right, we have another art niche. Not sure why <laughs> there's so many art niches. It must be a thing out here. Um, and then here is a cute little entryway into the powder room. And what's cool about this powder room is it also has a closet. So that'll be great for storage. And then here is the kitchen and breakfast nook. All right, the piece de resistance, the living room and the fireplace. Okay, you ready to see how high this goes? Oh my God, this is gonna be such an amazing space. And there are, is that opening for those doors. There's our outdoor fireplace. And then here is the indoor fireplace again. That doorway is to um, the master bedroom. We'll go in there in just a little bit. And then here are the openings from the upstairs. And then the pathway back to the front door. All right, so here is the kitchen. And the breakfast nook. The other thing I really love about this house is the windows go really low towards the floor. So the whole wall feels like it's the windows, which is really cool. And then there's a little door to the backyard there as well. So if we walk this way back to that coffee bar or butler's pantry, for me, it's gonna be a coffee bar. There'll be cabinetry here. And then behind it is the pantry. All right, so let's head to the master suite. So straight ahead is actually the laundry room. 
and that has an entry into the master closet as well. But the main entry to the master bedroom is here. Again, look at this ceiling. This was a standard feature. We did not pay extra for this. I love that the house come, came with those. It makes the house feel really um, more unique. Again, the windows here come really low to the ground. I love that. And then there's the entry to the bathroom. So we'll have a vanity here, mirror in that niche, the freestanding tub in the middle, and then another vanity. We have the toilet room, and then the shower. We had this little um, setback put in for our like shampoo bottles and stuff. There's also a seat in here. And then here is, uh, this is a linen closet and then a his and hers. That one's obviously the his, a little bit smaller. And then here is the hers. And that doorway back to the laundry room. Now we're gonna head upstairs. So at the top of the stairs are the openings down to below. And then right at the top here is the loft. Also, they have the ceiling um, recessed in here. So I've got to come up some, with some good ideas of what I'm going to do there. I love these little um, seated windows. And then here is the media room. If you aren't following me on Instagram, um, a few weeks ago, I posted that we did some DIY insulation. We added insulation into this space ourselves, which was quite fun. Um, a new task we can add to our resume. And then we also added insulation to my grandparents' suite downstairs just to give us a little bit more um, audible privacy. So if we go this way, we have a step up to a guest bedroom and then to right is another bedroom. So let's go to the guest bedroom first. This is a really nice large room. There are two attics in this space. So the one in the corner there originally was not supposed to be there, but they had to add it. So my task is going to be to find a clever way to disguise it, because I don't want it in this room. I want to do something really fun on that back wall for our guest bedroom. Got a window there. And then straight ahead is the bathroom. To the left is the closet. So this bathroom will just have a shower, toilet and sink. And then here is the walk-in closet. Again, another attic. This one I'm okay with since it's hidden in a closet and our hot water heater will be in there. So this is our daughter's room. In here she has her own walk-in closet and her own bathroom. How awesome is that? Then her bathroom actually has a tub shower combo. There is one more room up here, which will be Chris's office. 
have to go through the loft to get there. Also just want to step back here for a second so you can see this upstairs loft space. And then here is a bridge. Again, we have some funky shelves <laughs> above the door. Have to get creative with that one. And then the other side is the stairway. Straight ahead, we have another full bath, again with a tub shower combo. And then this will be Chris's office. He's got a closet in here. Another attic access. But this is the one that we're going to turn into a really cool space. Um, let's see if I can show you. So it's this really cool vaulted space. I would hate to like not use it. So our goal is to make this into like another fun space in his office. Now let's go downstairs and check out the grandparent suite and the garage. So to get to the grandparent suite, I'm actually gonna go through the garage. This is a three car garage. Again, they have their own front door, but it's kind of blocked right now. So I'm gonna go through their garage door access. Garage door access, yeah. So here you can really visualize it a lot better now. So this is our main living space. This L shape here is going to be a kitchenette. And then this will be their living room. Right here in this nook, we're gonna put their dining table against the wall with two chairs. There's their front door and the entrance to their bedroom. And then this will be entry to their bathroom and closet. So they'll have the toilet and sink on this side and a walk-in shower on this side and their walk-in closet and room for a stacked washer and dryer. So they have their own complete space. It looks a lot bigger now that the drywall's in, which is really cool. Let me get it from this angle. Front door, living space, kitchenette. So I also wanna show you guys our brick because our brick arrived. I'm gonna try not to walk over to it because it rained and it's very muddy. But you can see here, zoom in, it is a white faced brick. We have a ton of pallets of it. There's a whole bunch here, some more there, and then the whole front of the house is covered in brick. Oh, you can't really see through the window. There you go. So lots of brick. I can't wait to see the brick go up. I think the house on the outside is really gonna transform. And <laughs> don't mind my crazy hair. It's very humid here, so um, my hair is a little frizzy today, but yeah, that's the house. We're really excited that it's starting to feel like a home. I feel like this step is what really pushes you over the edge of knowing you're gonna move in soon. Now, mind you, we still have like two to three months until it's done, but at least it feels like it's getting closer now and we can really start to visualize and plan and you know decide what we wanna do with the spaces. But I'm so glad we were able to share that with you and you can see the progress. And um, 
I'm sure I'll post another video along the way or snippets on Instagram. So if you're not already following me there, go follow me there at the modern underscore mix. And I will post um, more things there as like little things get put in like tile or cabinets. And uh, you can follow along with the process there. But until next time, bye.